Is your PC sluggish due to heavy RAM usage? In this video, you will see 10 fixes to reduce the RAM usage and improve performance. Let's get started. Disable unnecessary startup apps. Whenever you start your computer, some apps start running with it, and they keep running, consuming your PC's resources such as CPU and memory. Let's disable them. Right-click on the taskbar and select Task Manager. Go to the Startup Apps tab. Here, click on the Status tab to sort it. Now, carefully observe each app and disable the one that you don't need to run with your system. Right-click on them and select Disable. Disable background apps. Several apps run in the background that you don't use. Let's disable them. Open Settings, go to the Apps, and select Installed Apps. You will have to disable the background running permission for each app one by one. In Windows 10, they used to have a separate section from where you could find and disable all background apps, but not in Windows 11. Click on this three-dot menu. If you see the Advanced option here, which means the app can run in the background, click on it. Then, under Background App Permissions, select Never. You can do this to all apps that don't need to run all the time. Turn off unrequired services. Now we are going to disable some unrequired services that keep running in the background and keep increasing your RAM usage. Click on the Start menu and search for Services. Open it. Now look for the Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Right-click on it, select Properties, stop the service, then choose Disabled from the Startup Type. Click Apply and OK. Next service to disable is SysMain. Right-click Properties, stop the service, select Disabled. Click Apply then look for Windows Search. Do the same with this. Stop the service and choose Disabled in the startup type. Then find the Windows Error Reporting Service. Disable it also. Next, look for Connected User Experiences and Telemetry. Right-click and select Properties. Stop the service. Choose Disabled in the startup type. Click Apply and OK. After disabling these five services, your PC will have some more system resources. Use Registry Editor. Now we are going to use the Registry Editor to tweak some options for better memory management. Click on the Start menu, type REG Edit. Open the Registry Editor. Click Yes in the UAC pop-up. Now copy the first registry key from the video description, paste it into the Registry Editor address bar, and hit Enter. Here on this panel, first find Clear Page File at Shutdown, double-click on it, and change its value to 1. Click OK. Now look for Disable Paging Executive, double-click to open the value, and set it to 1. Next, open the value of Large System Cache, set its value to 1 also. Then copy the second registry key from the description, paste it into the address bar, and hit Enter. Here, locate the Start key and double-click on it. Change its value to 4, click OK. Now close the registry editor and restart your system. You will start to see memory usage dropping now. Keep following the upcoming instructions to reduce it further. Turn off memory compression. Memory compression is a Windows feature that compresses some memory items and stores them in the memory instead of shifting them to the page file. The feature could be useful to PCs having minimum RAM installed, but on high-end PCs, it increases the load on the memory. So let's disable it. Click on the Start menu, type PowerShell, Right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. Click Yes in the UAC pop-up. Let's check if memory compression is on or not. Type Get-MM Agent. Hit Enter. Now look at the memory compression status. If it is true, it is running. If it is false, you don't have to do anything. It is already disabled. In case the value is true, type Disable-MM Agent space dash memory compression. Hit Enter. You can type get mm agent to confirm the status. If disabling the memory compression causes any issue, you can enable it by typing enable dash mm agent space dash memory compression. Use memory optimizer tool. You can use the wise memory optimizer tool. It is a light tool that instantly frees up the memory in one click. Search for wise memory optimizer on Google. Go to this link and download it then install it on your PC. You can see it is displaying the used RAM and available RAM. 
click on the Optimize button to free up some memory and improve the performance. Disable Clipboard History Most of us don't use Clipboard History much, but it keeps consuming memory as the copied things are stored in the RAM. Let's disable it. Click on the Start menu, Open Settings. Go to the System tab, scroll down, and click on Clipboard. First, clear the clipboard data, then use this toggle button to disable the clipboard history. Turn off notifications. Notifications aren't just annoying, they also consume memory. Let's disable them also. Go back to system, then click on notifications. Here, you can disable the notifications of the most annoying applications one by one. If you don't like to receive notifications altogether, you can use this toggle to disable them. Configure virtual memory. Click on the Start menu, type Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows, open it. Then click on the Advanced tab here. Under the Virtual Memory section, click on Change. Here, deselect the box of Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives, then select your system drive, click on the Custom Size, then on the Initial Size, enter 16 gigabytes in megabytes, which is 16,384. Then, on the maximum size, enter just double it. After configuring it, click on Set, then OK. Then restart your system for the changes to take effect. Reduce Chrome RAM usage. Google Chrome is popular for its intensive RAM consumption. Let's configure it so that we can save some memory. Open Google Chrome, click on the menu, and select Settings. Go to the System tab, here disable Continue Running Background Apps when Google Chrome is closed, then disable Show System Notifications about Chrome features and tips. Then click on the Performance tab, then enable the Memory Saver. This feature frees up the RAM from inactive tabs. If you are drastically low on RAM, select Maximum. Otherwise, Balanced or Moderate is good. Now. In a new tab, click on the address bar and type chrome colon double forward slash flags and hit enter. These are the experimental features and may cause some issues, which you can see in the warning. It works on all Chromium-based browsers such as Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and Opera. Click on this search bar and find zero copy rasterizer, set it to enabled. This feature uses less RAM and more GPU to open files like images and graphics. Next, look for GPU rasterization. It allows Chrome to use the GPU to rasterize web content instead of RAM and CPU. Enable it also. After following all these things, you can see your computer is much optimized, uses less RAM, and performs better. If the video has helped you, click on the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And don't forget to hit the bell button to receive alerts of videos related to Windows tips and tricks.